Okay. Get yourself comfy. I thought I'd just do a little update on uh, Wellington boots and protective clothing um, because you've probably seen the videos I've done uh, over the last year or so. Various pairs of Wellington boots and also um, protective gear. Now, I've got a disclaimer here. Um, I'm not paid to promote this. I haven't received any money. Someone gave me the wellies for free. They didn't say do a video. I just have done them. So I'm not promoting this stuff. And in many ways, it's probably good because I'm not, I don't care what I say about the stuff, really. Um, so let me, let me just get to where I'm at then. So um, let's do the wellies. Should we do the wellies? Ooh. Okay, so I am currently wearing back into my summer wellies. Here we go. These are the Quattro Skeller Ups, um, which I've had for a year or two now. Um, they seem, they have more traditional welly. I like the fact they've got the red edging on them and they've got a red lining. Can you see that? Um, they, they seem good, actually. Steel toe caps, fine, um, excellent. So nothing really to say about these. Um, they said durability-wise, they seem to be lasting quite well. Um, so, so that's where I'm at with those. Um, I thought I'd just cut, but I would cover a little bit more about these things. Now, you might remember I had a pair of these, these are um, Dickies wellies. And when I got them, they, they were really nice and new and lovely. Now you can see they're pretty well worn. Um, and I just thought I'd say a few things about them. First of all, the muck on this material is pretty grim, doesn't stick very well. Um, but they're starting to show signs of wear now. Um, these are incredibly comfortable and I've really enjoyed wearing these, really comfortable. However, I have a reservation. Um, I think they're really good wellies to wear out and about, but I have noticed, which welly is it? Already they're starting to perish or split on the front. Now I don't know how long these wellies are going to last. I'm putting them away now because it's summertime and they're a bit clumpy for summer. They're really meant for winter. However, I'm concerned that the, the material they're made of, which is some sort of neoprene, isn't durable enough in cow muck. And if we look here, I don't know whether you can make this out, there is just there the start of a split. Now, I would say if these wellies were two or three years old, that doesn't matter, but I've only been wearing them sort of four or five months. Look at that. Look. And another, uh, only been wearing, that seems to be on the edge of where the steel toe cap is. Only been wearing these about four or five months, and I'm not sure that they're going to stay waterproof. Um, I'll stick them back in the shed now for um, the summer, and I'll be wearing them next winter. But the thing is, they're 70 quid a pair, I think, or something like that. Now, if you have a pair of wellies that splits after that length of time, that's not good, is it? Um, they are showing a bit of wear at the top. That doesn't really worry me. The muck does seem to stick at the back, that doesn't worry me. What worries me is whether that's going to last. If I spent 70 quid on a we welly, I want more than a, a year out of it. So anyway, so there's the welly situation. We'll have a recap of that next winter. Protective gear. Now you might remember I was given a, a, a jacket and a pair of trousers. Here we are. Better craft. That's, that's the logo there. Um, now the jacket I was wearing in the rain, don't really wear a lot of these trousers in the winter on the farm. Not a lot of point for me. But this is where I wear them on, in the summer, or when, early spring, is when I'm moving the fence and the grass is really wet. So this, here's what, how I wear them, look, I'll just show you. <coughs> oh, I'll get my wellies off to get these on. This is one of those things where you sort of think, oh, is it worth the hassle of putting these on? You've got to take your wellies off to get them on and everything. Uh, and then you realise after you've done it, that it is. Right, let's sort this fence out and we'll have a look at the end. Oh. There you go. Well, you get the idea. I'm out here walking through doing work in the grass, um, and the hence I need these. Because when it's, when it's uh, wet or damp, my, ne my knees get very wet. Anyway, back to all my wellies and leggings. 
So that was me this morning moving the fence. Um, I always put a pair of leggings on because realistically the well has only come up so far and the, you find that the wet grass gets to your knee and you just go home with wet knees, it's not very nice. So I've been putting these on every morning. I have to say, this, this Better Craft gear is really good. Again, I'm not paid to promote this, I'm just saying what I think. Uh, the jacket is really comfortable. This is really comfortable. It's got a lining in it. Um, it's not cheap. I found it, I think it's pretty expensive actually. I haven't paid for this, so I don't know. But um, I would think that the quality in it, it seems to be quite tear resistant as well. The quality of this, I think it's probably worth the investment to be honest, because it's really nice to wear. It seems very durable. I've got a feeling I'm gonna be wearing this for a long time. I've had a lot of cheap leggings and stuff in the past and end up chucking them away because they end up ripping. Um, this seems good gear and you know, I'm not saying you should go out and spend a lot of money if you don't want to, but if you've got the money, I think this is good gear. So um, there's a little review there of my stuff. Um, I, do, I, I said before, I, I don't mind reviewing things on the channel. I'm not gonna make this into a shopping channel. So if we get the odd bits and pieces, it will pop up on here. Um, but I'm not going to promote every week or do stuff like that. But occasionally, you know, if someone offers me something that I'm interested in, I'll give it a whirl, you know, and see what it's like. But this is good. I'm not so sure about the durability of these wellies, even though they're really comfortable. The Scaler Ups definitely do the job. Nothing wrong with those. Um, we'll be rolling on maybe some other stuff at some other point. But for now, this is the Funky Farmer shopping bit over with. I'm going in for my lunch. Cheers, guys.